If you want conversions on Google AdWords, you've got to be willing to make your very best offer. And I don't mean a gentle or a decent, I mean the very best thing you can absolutely just give away. Whatever it takes for you to get a conversion. If that means you have a physical product you need to give away totally for free to see which people will actually have the potential to purchase it, that is what it takes and that's what I'm doing. I am going to give these two courses I've made ads away that I originally made ads for $99 coupons which are already half off. I'm giving those completely away until I find where the actual conversions are at because I've got just enough data right here to see I'm not getting any conversions and I need a better offer. So I'm going to show you how I quickly do that. So I'm going to start on these Wireshark ones. So what I'm going to do is go into this first campaign, this Wireshark search one that I've started on. And you'll notice then I can see where I'm getting the actual clicks in here and where the clicks are coming in at. So all I need to do then are edit all of the ads in this. Now, an interesting thing. So I go to edit all of these my ad will have to go back into approval and I'll get all the data confused with what I've already done. So what I want to do instead, I'm going to select these and I'm going to copy these ad groups. So I'm in one campaign, I'm going to copy all these ad groups. And then what I'm going to do is paste all these ad groups and then I'm going to click pause new ad groups after pasting. So that way they'll start pause so I can tell which ones I just pasted while I edit them. Because Google doesn't like it when you try and switch things on it all at once. So now what I'll do is go down to all but removed so I can see the paused ads. Now these are my new ones. So I'm going to call this Wireshark tutorial free and let's not capitalize the F because that's obnoxious. And then I'm going to do ad group one and I have to hit the back button. I didn't mean to click in there. Now, free. Now what I do is I want to go in and edit the actual ads that aren't yet approved for the new URL. They will automatically be. What I want to do though is just edit the URL. So this is kind of a little slower way to do it. So I'm just going to pace myself and show you how to do it. So now I've selected all of the individual ads from the paused ad group. So what I'm going to do is edit all of them at once. So I go to edit and what I can do is try this, change URL options. And no, I don't actually want to do that. Just kidding, Google. What I want to do is edit the actual ad. So I would go again, I click edit change text ads and now this will change all of the ads so all I really need to do is put this new little code in here and I'll just copy it straight like this so I put this in the final URL it doesn't actually change anything about the rest of the ad so I've got this final URL in there and then the rest of the ads stay the same so that's one way I can do it. So I'll hit make changes. And now I've got all of these new ads have a new URL. Watch, you can preview it, I'll click on it, and it goes straight over here now. So that goes to the free offer. That's good. Now what I do, I go back up to ad groups, and I wanna swap these around. I'm going to pause this one, pause that one, start this one and start that one. Now I do this because I don't want to confuse my data between these two. So you can see on these I've got data already showing what I've spent and I don't want to confuse the data. And I have not made any changes to the ads yet. I've not changed the keywords yet because I've done enough with that prior to having conversions. The idea of doing this free offer is to get these conversions. I don't need to mess around with things until I'm messing with conversions. So once I see what actually converts, then 
I'll put more work into it. So now I'm going to go through and do this same thing, except I can speed this up a little bit more now. Watch this. And normally something you should never say, by the way. So I click off of those ones I paused. I don't need to copy those. And I click off the free ones I've already done. So now that's one, two, three, four, five ad groups I've got. And one of these is on the Udemy instructor. So I'm going to hit copy. And now I go to paste. And that's why I said you should never do watch this. So you can see the way I tried to do that. You can't do it all at once if they're in different ads campaigns because Google doesn't want you to get everything confused. So sometimes showing you what you cannot do is valuable so that you can just see how to do it right from the start. So I go into this individual ad campaign and do the same thing I just did. So I go in and paste and pause the new ad campaigns and switch the URL really quickly in these. And I edit them also to free. So if you want to really see how to do this, I'm going to actually do it and not just skip ahead because this is a very valuable skill you can get is changing up all of these quickly. So you'll notice I'm just in the ad group well, I want to do all the ads in the campaign at once. So I can go manually click these really fast and I'll show you how to do it right the first time this time instead of trying to hit other things. So I've selected all those. I go straight up to change text ads. I go straight in to paste the URL right there and I hit make changes. So you can see when you do this a bit more how fast it is. So ad groups, pause, pause, start, start. That's two of the ad groups done really quickly. And you notice I'm not putting the word free in any of the ads either. I don't want to artificially boost my conversions because people know it's a free offer. I want them to have the exact kind of ads they'll deal with that I could use to actually sell the course but then I want to just see the data that I get out of having it free. So that's a very important point to make with this. You don't want to throw keywords in like free to try and artificially boost your settings. So now these display ads, there's only one ad group there, so this is real quick to just copy and paste. And then the other one has the same new thing. And I don't actually need to even pause the new ads when I run them. That just is helpful when I have more than one. So all I can do now, I can just pause the one I already had running. And I can just put ad group one free. And then I can go do it the opposite way. I can just select all of the ones that are not paused. And then change them. Because the display ads have to go under review. So the display ads go under review. So then I just select all of these and then I go edit the actual URL, change text ads, put the new URL in here, make changes. So that's another way to do it. So the display ads will technically stop running for a little while and that's okay. I just want to get this free offer in and see what happens. So that's three out of five I've changed. So let's go do this last display one, the Wireshark Global, and then I can quickly copy it and then paste it. And I can do the same thing on this one. Now I like to do full views on everything because I find a lot of videos don't have all the detail I want. I know you can just skip through a lecture if you don't need to watch me actually copy all these. But the thing is, it, you can't do it the other way around. So I offer you all of this. If you've seen me copy these enough, then that's okay. You're always welcome to skip ahead. I keep these set up for the people who want to actually go through and watch all these. So now you'll see I've just got 
on this one, I've just got all of my ads in the actual ad set. So this is a lot faster. So all I have to do is select all of these at once. So if you didn't skip ahead, you get rewarded with this little trick. <laughs> so then I hit HTTP there, I put the new URL in and I always check the actual URL too. So there, I've got all new ads in on that display ad. So if I go up to the top and hit ad groups, you can see ad group one free is now alive and well. Now that's all the Wireshark ones converted to free using the existing settings. Now let's convert this one to free. Same thing. Copy it and paste it. And I'll do the same fast way I just did with you so that all I have to do is just select all of the ads at once and quickly edit the text in them. That's a lot faster. So I go to pause and then I call this free and I don't bother renaming the ad groups until I really need to. So I now click on the actual ad group itself. It only shows me the ads from this ad group. I click on all the ads. I click edit, change text ads. I go get my new URL over here for this course, copy. I go put this in the final URL make changes and then I click on it to make sure it actually works and there you go. So now what I've got, all of those ads I made yesterday, I just changed all of them to running free. So if you click on all the ad groups, you'll see now I've doubled the amount of ad groups I have. I paused all of the ones that have ran so far and I've now done free ones. So I separate out all of those ones that did not drive any conversions and I can even delete them if I want. There's no reason to do that really because all I have to do is hit all enabled. So I change my view and now I see only ones that I've actually got running. So all those old ones are replaced with new ones. I'll still see the overall data on here depending on how I've got my data set up here. So now I've got that done. I appreciate you watching this with me. I hope showing you how to quickly put a new offer on all of your existing ads is helpful for giving you the chance to actually get some numbers in this conversion column.